off with uh, Matt Prim from 247 Sports. Tyler, what's made this offense so efficient in the second half, two straight games in a row? I think really the only thing that stopped you guys is your lack of ex execution in, in second halves. What's made you guys so good? Uh, just executing the game plan and from practice. You know, we had a we know we're going to have a good game and we have a really good week of practice. It's got to show. So I think that's our main focus this week is just trying to do it the best we can during practice and then make it, uh, make it easier on the game field to make practice as hard as we can. It's hectic and um, as confusing as possible so we can get the look right. And then that way, when we see it out in the game, we can just play. Brian Thorburn, Register Guard. Tyler, you mentioned the other night that there's still a lot of the playbook you guys have not shown yet. I mean, how much more can you guys do as the season goes on and you get McCormick and Camp Moyer and some of the other tight ends back along with DJ? Oh, yeah, there's a, there, we're, we're still trying to, to, to get our own feel for it and still trying to work different personnel and, and just do whatever the, the game plan fits. You know, we have our set offense. We're not really trying to game plan the defense per se and, and install a whole new offense every week. We just we're trying to run what we run um, and then and make adjustments accordingly. But I'm excited because, you know, we, get, we keep getting better each week and we just got to keep stacking those days. James Krapia, Oregonian. Uh, going to the, back to the turnovers from last week, uh, Coach Cristobal and Coach Moorhead kind of went over them a little bit, talking about the, the mesh charge on the one where I mean, that's not on you guys at all. And it came up actually again in the third quarter. And so walk me through like, all right, the first time that play is just doomed and that's not on you guys. But how were you able to avoid a fumble when it came up again later? And on the interception, Coach Moorhead said that he thought the and said, you know, basically just throw it away uh, and, and avoid it in that spot. But it's so fast, such a quick play. What could you have done differently with such a short time window to make a decision? Yeah, um, the obviously the first one, the fumble, you know, that's on all of us. Um, obviously, we got to do a better job in the mesh, and we obviously made those corrections after um, and, and just to give it when there is a mesh charge. Um, and on the pick, you know, it was a split-second reaction. Um, I didn't see him get held until after I threw it. But if it is cloudy, then I'm going to just dirt it or throw it away in those situations. Um, so just got to be better at that, at, at anticipating it, and then just reacting accordingly. Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Tell it, I mean, you just mentioned some of the decisions you have to make. Do you find yourself gaining confidence in yourself? I know cause it's strange because you've obviously been an accomplished high school quarterback, but you haven't played this kind of football in a couple of years. I mean, do you, find, do you feel like yourself kind of gaining that confidence back now over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, there's definitely that game mode uh, feeling for sure. You know, I haven't played a, a full game since high school um, in, the, in these past two games. So you definitely get a, a level of confidence when you can when you can go in and out in each series and, and feel like you've put in the work and, and just executing those plays. So uh, I'm really excited for, for where we're headed right now. And, you know, we got a long way to go. So I'm just proud of our guys for, for how they've worked. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Yeah, Tyler, how does uh... – after Stanford, Washington State, you've seen their defenses. How does it look for UCLA if you've had time to look at that? Would you, how would you compare those? Yeah, they're, they're, they're really tough defense. You know, I think they're going to be one of the toughest defenses we face so far. They fly around to the ball. Um, they got great personnel, great coaching. So we're going to have to be in our game this week and, and do the best that we can to prepare for them. Aaron Heisen, KWVA Sports. Tyler, what has made the running game so consistent and efficient throughout the first two games of the season, and how do you see that moving forward against UCLA? Um, the running game, I mean, that's just a testament to our own line and, and how they prepared and, and the running backs just seeing those holes, you know, and, and, and the scheme that we put up. Um, Coach has done a great job playing, uh, calling plays and putting us in those positions. The O-line is, is, has blocked their butts off and, and worked hard in, uh, day in, day out, and we obviously have a great set of running backs, and, and Cyrus, uh, CJ, Travis, and, and Sean Dollars who have been playing a lot, so – um, uh, I'm really proud of those guys, and we've got to keep stepping up each week because we still want to hit, um, bump those numbers up and, and obviously create a balanced offense like as, as we planned. Matt Prem. Speaking about running backs, Travis Dye has just 13 touches, but he's averaging like 17 yards a touch and three touchdowns. What's made him just so effective in this offense, you feel like? Um, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a hard runner. He's a twitchy guy. He sees those holes, and he, he goes through them right now. I think all of our backs – and have that ability. I mean, he's just obviously taking advantage of those opportunities when they've come, and, and he's a playmaker for sure. Um, he, he's got great, great ball control, great body control, and great hands. So uh, I, I think he's just, he's, just, he's just going to the light, and I think he's progressing each week. And obviously, he's had that time to play as a freshman. So uh, everybody's just progressing and getting better. So it's, it's great to see that. Ryan Thorburn. Tyler, uh, just following up on the Bruins defense, I mean, they 
shut down a veteran quarterback, Chase Garbers, with really no prep time. What does make them so tough in your eyes after looking at that? Um, they bring a lot of different looks. They have a good front seven. Um, they play hard, um, so they're, and they're well coached. So they, I think, um, you know, they, they're going to run to the ball a lot. They're going to try and disguise looks. But I think if we stick to our game plan and stick to our rules, um, we should be fine and, and just execute what we do. James. It's so like seeing the, the two receiver group all come through for you uh, this past week. But it was Devin. I mean, I, not just they all made catches. They all made, I think, diving catches uh, and, and really big grabs. Uh, Devin, Chris, Josh, all of them. Uh, what was it like just seeing them come through and, and to know you have that depth there if, if Mike is not going to be there last week and this week ahead? Yeah, it's obviously huge for those guys. They they, they work super hard throughout the week. Um, they're treating it like they're the starters. And, you know, they, their name could be called any time. And um, I've, been, I've been super comfortable getting reps with them and, and routes on air and team reps and seven on seven. So it's no surprise to see what they're doing on the field. And, and I'm really looking forward to, to, to elevating their game this next week. And, and, and they're going to obviously make me better with some of their athleticism. And obviously, you've seen that on the field. So I'm really proud of them. And we've got to keep getting better. Eric. Tyler, I want to take you back to that last play, or I guess that last drive before half against Washington State. That pass to Jalen, were you, was that like where you wanted to go with the ball? Were you expecting him to have that much space? And I know you said if you got it out there a little earlier, it would probably have been a touchdown. Um, was that just because you were surprised that he was, was that far behind the defense? No, we weren't, I wasn't surprised by it. I was just trying to avoid the rush a little bit. I saw somebody kind of uh, get through or fall down. I uh, should just quick avoid it with my feet um, and then just get thrown it out to him. But, no, I wasn't surprised by it. I was just a little late on the footwork, but it ended up working out great. Jerry Thompson. Yeah, Tyler, a similar question. On the wheel route to Travis uh, dive for the touchdown, you kind of look in your chart or, you know, know that that's going to work. When you, As soon as you saw it called, had you seen things that uh, knew that he would probably beat his man or is that something that just – Plays called, you didn't have to make the right pass, but were you kind of anticipating this going a long way? Yeah, I obviously saw the matchup uh, post snap. You know, um, usually you, it's a we were reading that out. So um, once I saw the D end or, or linebacker, whoever was on Travis, and he it was just a mismatch for sure. So I laid it out for him to run underneath it, and then and it definitely worked out for sure. But I know they're they're in man coverage, and they put they put that guy in the back, and and it, it, we love those odds. So just trying to give them the uh, best opportunity they can to make a play. It looks like that's all we have for you, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Well, one more, James. You, you had it up and you put it down, and now it's back up. Yeah, I had a mental problem. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Tyler, uh, RPOs. Uh, obviously, you guys ran them uh, previously in the older offense without giving away aspects of it exactly. I mean, it's on film. But what makes Coach Moorhead's RPOs just perhaps different than what you guys were doing before? Because clearly they've been really effective for you guys. So just – what is it about his that are either just slightly different or, or better uh, than what you guys were doing before? Uh, he just clearly defines our reads for us. You know, we, uh, we prepare a lot during, throughout the week on, on who our give keys and throw keys are and, and who are and just uh, keying each defender. So um, it, makes it, it makes it easier on the quarterbacks and wide receivers to just execute the, the route and just follow accordingly. And obviously you have to have a plan versus pressure and, and plan versus any dirty looks. So, um, that just goes into preparation throughout the week. And, and Coach Moorhead obviously having a great system and, and teaching it well to us. Now we're done. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys.